We begin with the man accused in yesterday's deadly mass shooting in Harford County at his workplace. 37 year old Radeep Prince appeared in court today in Delaware. That's where we got arrested last night after allegedly killing an acquaintance there. Bail was set at $2.1 million after Prince was charged with attempted murder. He'll also face murder charges in Maryland, where he's accused of killing three people and wounding two others in this shooting in Edgewood. And then there's this. Harford um, County Sheriff Jeffrey yeah, Gaylor revealed for the first time right. that Prince had a series of disputes while employed at the Granite business for the past four months. He had uh, disagreements. Uh, I think they were one sided, mostly from his side, but he uh, disliked some of the co workers. And yesterday was just an act to carry out uh, you know, a terrible, vengeful act. He also commented on Prince's lengthy criminal history, including more than 40 arrests and 15 felony convictions, even being caught with an illegal weapon, yet still being allowed on the streets. This guy had no business being on the street, posing a threat or coming out and taking lives. Uh, this is an individual, by all looks of, of the records, should have been behind bars. That was reporter Mike Helgren from WJZ in Baltimore. One of the three victims who died lived in Arlington. His family tells us he was so concerned about the co-worker now accused of killing him that he prayed about it at the Washington Mongolian Church where they belong. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Peggy Fox talked to his daughter and widow today. The best dad and the best husband. <laughs> the most humble person. At 26 years old, Suv Bayer Saikon has lost her father in a most violent way. Bayer Saikon Tudev was one of three people shot and killed at their workplace in Edgewood, Maryland, Wednesday. It was a very friendly, soft hearted, you know, very easygoing guy. Tudev was 53. He'd been married to his wife for 32 years. They posed in this field of sunflowers this past Sunday. He was very nice man, very humble. He always makes me laugh. He's very hard working man. And I'm sure everybody loved him. Tudev would wake up very early to make the long drive to Edgewood, Maryland every day. He had worked at Advanced Granite Solutions on and off for the past 10 years. Suvda says she didn't know much about her father's workplace, but she did know he was concerned about a man named Prince. She said he talked about this man and said that he was a very cold person and that he didn't get along with other people and that he often started workplace fights. He would come home and mention that, you know, he would have he had a rough day at work with this person and I think the guy didn't really get along with the other workers. She said her father would try to reach out to Prince and would talk to him, try to be nice to him. It's tragic that, you know, this happened to my family and you know, it had to be him out of all the world, you know, people in this world, but it's okay. He's in a better place. He's with God right now. He's in heaven, so. The family lives here in this Roslyn apartment complex. Suvda says that she immigrated with her parents from Mongolia to Arlington back in 2005. She says living in the United States was something her father always wanted to do. Way back when I wasn't even born, he wanted to move here and live here. And his dream was finally came true. In Arlington, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9. The victim's daughter says they are praying for the families of the other victims and the survivors.